Abshani, we are talking cars. This is the A200. So we'll we'll be doing things differently today, mainly because we don't have time. We simply don't have time to give a proper detailed review of the car. So see this more of a, a quick walk around, a quick review, and, you know, just a glimpse into what the A200 offers you. So there may be certain information that is missing, but I don't have time with this car. It's either now or never. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive deep into it. So as for the front of the A-Class, this is what it looks like. I think it looks amazing. Uh, these lights sort of like look inverted, uh, but they work. They really do work for me. This is a Mercedes-Benz. It looks really nice. So as you really get closer to the car, you will notice that you do find uh, parking sensors from the front, which is great. We love that. Interesting plastic that is used throughout. I like this type of plastic. It looks great. And then on the lower part, there is a chrome thingy. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call this thing. But there is a chrome lip yes that's the right word looks amazing that matches the the the, the big mercedes bench the star and these small ones you know same thing it's a really great touch they look shiny but i'm not too sure if this is chrome or just different paint that is used there is a pdc sensor that is housed in one of these slats as well somewhere there right there and yeah the big star from the front it really does make an appearance it really does stand out it is quite angular especially from this end you know the different views that you get hmm a beautiful car throughout honestly speaking i'm a fan i'm a fan i'm a fan now this is the a200 from the rear this is what it looks like and i think it is quite a looker it does have a bit of kia serratoness to it doesn't it and yeah you will notice that uh, you do find this fake exhaust is there anything in the highly doubt there's nothing as i expected and this really sporty diffuser it looks amazing it looks really good parking sensors from the rear to help you park your car and yeah it is quite curvaceous it is quite beautiful beautiful lines from the sides and yeah beautiful profile overall so this is well equipped for me 225 45 18 inch rubber tires they look amazing they've got a bit of uh, yeah yeah decent coverage as far as the the profile goes so potholes and whatnot will be easily catered for now from the sides as you can see beautiful panoramic sunroof it's open you get your chrome surrounds around the windows and then your shoulder line which runs through from this end all the way to the front and yeah a really subtle side skirt which is over there as for your mirror it does have a side mounted indicator as well what are your thoughts on the looks of the A-Class? Is it an A-Class A-Class? Does it remind you of the Mac? Mac of the older days? Is it really worth it? You get to decide. But this is the entire profile and silhouette as we've come to expect. For me, it is a thumbs up. I think it looks good, especially finished with this black color. Yeah, everything just comes together, man. It works really well together. Panoramic sunroof is a must for me. It looks amazing. Now starting with the door card, the top part is nice and soft. There's a brushed metal effect that is used over there and it looks really expensive. Eh? There's a bit of suede material that is used throughout. Ooh, nice to touch. And this button, uh, I don't know, okay, I don't, I'm not too convinced about the feel. But yeah, there are nice, nice and clicky sounds from this end. But this though, mm -mm, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not convinced. Steady door handle over there, brushed aluminium pattern still continues. Uh, a really decent storage area or door pocket, bottle holder of some sort, phone holder, wallet, box of chocolates, whatever it is, speaker cutout. And this also offers you heated seats so you can toggle them on over there. Good clicky sounds. As for the inside, so these are your seats. These are your manually operated seats and they look amazing. Wow. What a good looking seat. I mean, look at that. I don't know if these are sport seats or not, but they look amazing. So you can see the feature black and red treatment throughout. So this is where you obviously adjust it to your liking. This is to adjust this part to go up and down. You know, uh, your lumbar support. Well, I think, I'm not too sure. It better be your lumbar support. I don't know what this function is. And then to take it up and down, adjust the back rest and this part as well you know this is manually operated so you can pull it back just like that you know great stuff 
as for these integrated headrests they look amazing now let's step inside the car wow what a beautiful place to be in look at it hmm. i'm not easily impressed but it feels like an expensive place to sit in so let's just delve deeper into the materials that we used nicely padded over there okay there's this bigger cut up on this part your big ass what do you call this uh screen which is a beauty and then these patterns which is also nicely padded they look like they're perforated but they are not it's just a nice pattern the brushed aluminium part over there looks amazing okay and then as you open that it slides out beautifully and it's it's, it's kind of it's quite big there's a lot of storage on this end yeah there's a light also on the other side great stuff really decent storage bin and yeah this is the the layout of your cockpit there used to be something over there i just forgot what it was and then yeah this is where you can toggle your dynamic mode drive mode selector volume knob on this end uh the packing for the reversing of the car and this you know when you reveal this you can see these interestingly designed cup holders which operate just like that okay push it down and then you open it great stuff and then there is a pad well it's not a charging pad it's just there it's nice and rubberized can store your phone in there definitely there is a usb type c part on this part then you can pull it back just like that so as for these controls nice and clicky sounds mm -hmm. well yeah i think they look good uh yeah i think these look good and these are also finished in a piano black effect so i don't know if it's gonna last or stand the test of time without any scratches or fingerprints but they look really nice they look really sporty and these vents they just look amazing man wow beautiful beautiful and this is your climate control obviously so you know uh temperature can be set to each other's liking engine start stop button over there and interestingly because of this clean layout where you normally adjust your what do you call this your gear where you know where your normal gear se uh, select lever is that uh, at this point so uh you would ordinarily have a gear select thingy over there but in this case in this application it's it's right over there can you pick it up i'm not sure yeah just like that what a beautiful steering wheel just have a look just have a look wow this feels really nice it looks quite sp sporty as well i'm not complaining i'm not complaining in fact i am i am i am pleasantly impressed i am pleasantly impressed and then you get this uh your downshifting pedals on this on the far left same thing on the far right hmm looks amazing wow what a beautiful place to be in and the cherry on top is on top well give me a second as for the cherry on top a beautiful panoramic sunroof Well, it also obviously caters, or it does have this, um, you know, your, your your safety driving mode, active modes, whatsoever. I don't know what's called them, you know, MPAX, or I don't know what, what it's called, honestly, so I don't want to mess it up. And then your, 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 your screen over there, which looks amazing. As you can see, consumption is not so good so far, 10.8 liters per 100, but obviously this is driver and car dependent. This also offers you... And this also offers you a 1.3 turbocharged uh, litre engine, which is a four-cylinder. It offers you 120 kilowatts of power as well as 250 newton of torque. And yeah, great stuff. One other great thing that I forgot to highlight, which is over there. You know, these lights, I mean, they look, they, 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 they it's as if it's, it's diamond plated. There's like a diamond what what inside the you know the light crystal key what what you it looks amazing I don't know what to call it as well you know reading lights and all that great stuff let's go through to the back okay the rear section looks a bit weird 
Uh, I don't know if it's the placement of these materials, but uh, something is a bit off here. Uh, I don't know, maybe this is too low or something. But anyway, this is still nicely padded. And then you get this uh, suede material, which is great to touch and feel. <laughs> it has the red stitching over there, window control. I'm not convinced here about the quality. This is convincing enough. Steady door handle. Okay. Brushed my aluminium effect as well. A really small storage area or pocket over there. And yeah, let's get inside the car. Okay, before getting inside, these are your seats. They look amazing, don't they? There is no sensor armrest. I don't know why. But yeah, they just look amazing. So the material, yeah, the material used is really a, of a good quality. It really does say hello, Mercedes. And yeah, leather is used throughout on this part. Red stitching, suede material with red stitching as well. These sort of like look really sporty or individualized as you can see. Isofix mount mounting points which I exposed but they work. Good good stuff. And yeah, LED lights on both sides. You know, as I get inside the car, this is my drive, driving position. So, okay, don't mind my toes. I can hide them. Yeah, so the driving position, knee room is, is more than good enough for me. Uh, toe room, definitely plenty. And yeah, I don't know what that is for. There is an, a USB Type-C port over there. A nice storage, cute thingy over there. Yeah, but as for the interior, I cannot fault it in any, I cannot fault it at all. Like these seats just look amazing. Maybe not so great if you're sitting behind, but can we really fault it for that? We can't. No. As for the boot opening or boot area, this is what it looks like. It is quite decent. I don't know, is it average? I don't know. I really don't know. But so far, I could live with this. Yeah, it looks really clean in there as well. Uh, yeah, there, there is a pot for your shopping bag. You can hang it over there. Wow, interestingly designed thingy over there. Same thing on the other side, on this part. There is a bit of a storage place. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna store in here, but it, it really is quite small. But it works nonetheless. Uh, there is a mount, I don't know, is this a mounting point? I don't know, I'm not too sure about that. And then yeah, same thing on the other side as well. So right beneath this um, carpet, well, is another carpet. And right beneath the other carpet is, is it a tire repair kit yes 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 it is yeah interesting stuff i don't know what that is but i'll i'll google and check i'll find out same thing on this end but it has to be a tire repair kit nothing and nothing else no spiegel whatsoever which is quite a shame but we move on so this is what the menu items look like yeah honestly i don't have enough time to spend with this car so i really cannot go into detail as much as i'd like to but please uh, understand so on this part you do get your uh yeah, yeah 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 what do you call this light 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 controls yes there's a handbrake that is over there and then your lights auto on auto off uh, bright the level the brightness of the lights in between stuff like that and on this part you get this uh i don't really like the use of these uh, buttons uh, these are inductive buttons or touch sensitive ones so basically you can scroll through the menu items on the infotainment screen on this end uh, volume up and down calls what's or not uh, and then on the other side you do get your adaptive cruise control which can operate over there obviously you can set reset limit and stuff like that so great stuff i'm in love with the beauty of the steering wheel it looks amazing great stuff Okay, reverse and camera, this is what it looks like. Clearly, we are in the chair. Dynamic mode selected, I think, as a dynamic mode. Okay, interestingly, this is where I just. This is where I just the, the king gear, gear selector. Yes, D, D mode. Okay, let's go, let's go. Somebody's quite feisty. Yeah, good. 
well i was expecting the worst to be honest but it is it's not bad it's not bad it's not bad yeah because from the other reviews and stuff like that i wasn't too convinced about the power that it has on tap but driving it yeah yeah it feels really good very comfortable Ooh. yeah okay sunroof is open but i'm gonna close it okay i, I can already tell this is a quiet car and it surprisingly is very comfortable wow okay what a good outcome and the steering wheel is nice and chunky i don't know if this is the optional sports steering wheel i don't know but wow what a beautiful car it feels amazing yeah man i'm impressed i'm impressed with the ride quality hmm. wow interesting this is a seven speed dct transmission okay I know performance is quite good honestly and the way it drives over uneven uneven patches really good no complaints especially for let's call it a hot hatch is it a, a hatchback or a hot hatch okay it's a hatchback good stuff nice and direct and everything in, like around me looks and feels expensive you know from uh, materials that are used throughout everything is just nice in and around the car Wow, what a what, what a moment, eh? A good, a good, a good, a good moment. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Nice, nice, nice. Please open the sunroof. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Please open the sunroof. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, but it's not available in this vehicle. Okay, it could be me or it could be the car. I don't know, but it normally works. Let's try it again. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Please open the sunroof. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, disappointing, but it's fine. Taikuma Sakurung one, you know, we we'll live to try another day. Or another time. But yeah, back to the driving thing. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. So yeah, driving the car. It feels amazing. It feels really good. I'm enjoying it. You know, you can't really feel it shift up or down, which is great. The power is more than good enough for the type of car that it is. NVH levels, it's very quiet so far, very silent. And these vents, they feel amazing. The aircon is nice and cold. Ah. stuff hmm. so yeah like can you just let's let's give let's give credit where it's you this interior is you know it's crazy it's crazy beautiful how it feels and how it looks these screens everything is just proper proper so one more pull a beautiful beautiful like everything is well appointed doesn't really scream doesn't screech it doesn't do any funny things no drama whatsoever steering wheel is nice and oof, everything everything is really just on point so uh how do we offer yeah perfect check your surroundings everything is, is is nice i came here expecting this car to disappoint me because i really thought it was just an expensive mercedes-benz with no substance but I changed my mind. This, <laughs> like many other cars I've reviewed, has won me over. Oh, one last time. Good, good, good power. Decent power. And the way it's absorbing things, you know. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> ah, that was funny. That was a funny moment, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. This is it for our driving impressions. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. I know it was a bit rushed, but yeah, time is of the essence, so it's fine. Okay, so let's look into the pricing of the A-Class. What are my thoughts? Which one to go for? So basically, there are two variants on offer. You get the Progressive, and then you get the AMG, AMG line package. 
so the AMG line package is you know it's a it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an additional extra for 29,000 rands that features sports seats, double cup holders, a roof lining that is done in black, comfort suspension with ride height lowering, a sports brake system, AMG floor mats, 18 inch alloy rims, a multifunctional steering wheel which is amazing, and an all round uh, sporty acoustics throughout the car, AMG body styling, and most importantly spot seat which i would definitely 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 uh, uh vouch for so that is number one and then number two the different uh, equipment packages on offer standard it is advanced you know it's called adv advanced package you pay nothing for this and then you get the advanced plus for thirty thousand, and then the premium package is sixty five thousand. and lastly the pre premium plus package it's 120k so yeah with the advanced plus, you get uh, additional extra such as the, the rear armrest, the all digital instrument display, ambient lighting, keyless and go, you know, wireless charging in front. And then from the premium, so the premium will combine the, the previous one, the advanced plus package, and then these additional features, and they work in that sequence. So premium uh, package, 65K, you get an additional uh, blind spot assist, uh, thermotronic, automatic climate control, advanced sound system, which is not the additional extra that we're going to touch in a moment, and box uh, reality for navigation, door sills with uh, the Mercedes-Benz uh, lettering illuminated, and exchangeable cover. So with the premium plus package, this is only limited to the AMG line. You then get uh, everything that I mentioned before, plus a sliding panoramic sunroof, which is, you know, my number one. The memory seat function, a packing package with a 360 degree camera, front left electronic memory seat, head up display, uh, surround lighting with projection of the brand logo, so it looks really nice. Adaptive high beam assist plus, and an M box interior assistant, you know, hello Mercedes, and then it will, it will do things proper. Yeah, okay, so basically when it comes to the German 3, which is the Mac, the Bima, and the Audi, I always recommend buying as new as possible. So contrary to what I always advise on, which is looking secondhand, in this case, try and look at a brand new one, if not a demo, if not a really low mileage one. So standard, it comes equipped with a, a five-year or 100,000 kilometer maintenance plan. You do get a two-year unlimited kilometer warranty which i don't really get it's it's quite skeptical because as a normal consumer you buy your a class and you drive it as you wish you will not cover unlimited you won't cover thousands and thousands of mileages in two years so yeah i get the unlimited part but the duration is quite low so if it was five years and then unlimited that would make sense but two years unlimited that that, that is a scam as far as i'm concerned uh, and then okay yeah, let's let's get back into it yeah, I, I even lost my, my, my train of thought thinking about uh, the whole warranty thing. So, yes, yeah, so maintenance-wise, try and get uh, a, a newer as possible a A-class. You know, if you want to do this A-class thing, you must do it properly. Otherwise, you might as well buy yourself a, a Golf, buy yourself an, a Corolla, Corolla Cross Hatch, something like that. So, yeah, number one, uh, out in the open market, remember, we're trying to look for one with, like, really low mileage. Uh, I was able to source one with less than 10,000 kilometers on the clock. And yeah, this was a 2022 model, you know, and then yeah, a year, a year and a half later, let's say a year later, it's priced at 720,000, which equates to 13,250 rands per month, give or take, plus minus, it depends. So yeah, that is really good uh, value for money, especially considering the fact that this comes equipped with the AMG line, the AMG line package. And hopefully it also features a, another additional extra that I didn't mention, which is the I can't really pronounce the name, but it's the Beer Master sound system. That is an optional extra for, for, for 20K, 20,000 rands. That features like 12 speakers, including a subwoofer and whatnot. So picture this. You're driving your beautiful car. It's your brand new car. Well, well to you, it's brand new. You're driving your brand new car. You know, you're sitting in those beautiful sports seats and they're hugging you nicely. You've got a beautiful interior to look at with the beautiful screens and the aircon fans. It looks really fancy. The tech is in there. You've got your nice ambient lighting throughout and the grade. And in, in, in the background, there's beautiful music that's playing through your 12 speaker surround sound system. That sounds amazing. The cherry on top, your sunroof is also open. You're cruising nicely, man. You know, you can see, you can really project your lights out on the open road. It's just a great time. You're having a great time with your new car. 
That is the picture that I have in my head. So if you want to do an A class, you must do it proper. And this is the way to go about doing it. Yeah, I think I've said a mouthful by now. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching until the end. Please do like, please, please subscribe. And also remember, subscribing is free. You do not pay anyone, do not pay anything. Mahala, mahala, free. So that will help the channel grow and we can improve. You know, there are one or two places to improve, such as the videography, the sound, you know, things like that. But anyway, yeah, it's all about positivity. We are growing nicely. Yeah, let's keep on going. Thank you so much. I'm really excited about this one. And I'll see you on the next one.